Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be looking at poly and integrating 3D objects into Google Web Designer. Uh, there was a question from Ren Designs, uh, hopefully I got that right, asking, he was having problems integrating uh, 3D objects into Swirl. And what I've basically gone and done is had a look into that myself and to sort of show you where I've got to with my learning and understanding what the limitations might be. I definitely don't have a definitive answer, but I have potential options. So starting with Swell. So uh, within Poly, I basically created a couple of new uh, objects. I've created this one. I used a Tinkercad, really cool. I would recommend using that. And then I just colorized it with inside Poly. Um, again, I just went into the Swell component within uh, Google Web Designer, set up my stage, my canvas is normal, position where everything I wanted it, and the preview. And yeah, there we go. So all still works perfectly fine. Right, so that's quite a low uh, polygon sort of setup, right? Not many points in it. So um, I'll try something else. Um, I came across this really cool Canon. And again, go back into the component, select the object. And there you go, hit preview. And that works. So instantly, I now know that there is a possibility of having a quite a complicated object. It's not super complicated, but it is more complicated than what I have already. So let's try again. Let's go somewhere else. Um, okay, I'm gonna find this. All right, so this really cool chair I found, really cool. Um, it is definitely more complicated. So again, select all, delete, paste, refresh, mm. preview, nothing. So this came up a lot, and I don't technically have an answer yet, because I think this is the problem we're all gonna find, is that you need to optimize your, your builds, your, your 3D objects to go, if you're gonna be using them within Google Web Designer, so there's gonna be a lot of optimization. So a process of learning, of working out what works, uh, the details, the, I suppose the thing is with a lot of these other objects, it could be that they're using other cameras and lighting that is just not supported, or that there are too many polys or, and points within those objects, and so there isn't sort of some kind of restriction. So I would hope or expect at some point as this technology evolves, you're gonna get a sort of right, uh, this works fine for this technology and this works fine for another technology. Because don't, uh, don't forget, a poly is used for other things, not just beyond Google Web Design, it's used for the, 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 um, the VR systems that they are also developing. So you can build stuff in this, you know, with like the tilt brush and stuff and import that. So let's move on to possible options. If you definitely want to get a 3D object into Google Web Design and you just want to use it. So um, staying with the chair, uh, I'll go to the share and then go to the embed option. So within the embed option, you have two options, the model view and the poly view. Uh, I'm going to go with the poly view first. Now I've tried to integrate this with um, Google Web Design Swell, it doesn't work. Uh, I keep trying, but it, it won't let me necessarily do it the way I want to do it. So I've just created another test. I've got a simple canvas. I'm gonna go into code view and I'm just gonna paste it in here on the stage. Hit save and then fingers crossed, give it a moment to load. There you go. I haven't adjusted the uh, height, so it's just set to uh, 480, but you can see that that works. So that's a possible option. Obviously, you've still got the icons being pulled in and it'll have the name down there. So I think that can be removed looking at the code options. I think you can do, you've got allow for VR, XR, accelerometer. Uh, no, actually, I don't think you can take that option off. So it's only got the embed. So let's say you want to definitely remove that option. So. Skipping along to the astro uh, astronaut, I thought, well, I'll try the astronaut because that's classic. It's been used by Google for a lot of things uh, and a lot of their tests. So again, go straight to the, the embeds. And this time I looked at the model view. Now this one's a bit more interesting because this doesn't use obviously the poly stuff. This is just going to be using the model view element, which you get in HTML. So. Before I did it, I quickly looked into the model view. Now the model view element, um, 
has some JavaScript that goes with it, so some libraries you'll need to import. But this is a potential option if you need to get an object into your, into your build, you can use model view. So what did I do next? Well, I then basically took the scripts that are here, uh, went into the code view, I'll just delete that now. Don't know that. Deleted the code view, uh, that code option, sorry. And then I'm just gonna undo this. So what I've gone and done is I've taken the model view option and I've imported that. Then I've imported the scripts because I tried importing the model view first and it didn't work. So I've imported the scripts that are on the model view uh, page on modelview.dev. And let's see if that works. Well, it should work because I've tested it a few times now. And there you go. So that actually works. Obviously the placing, the positioning isn't the best, but that is another way of importing a 3D object. So if you have your objects in a library somewhere or on poly, you can use the model view option to import. Now the great thing about this option, of course, is that it does it for USDZ, but also it does it for um, uh, GLTF. So that means you're covering off both the operating systems. So this is obviously the next natural step to augmented reality for your products. Because let's be honest, where this is all going is that you're gonna have the option to see a pair of shoes in an ad and it'll say, you know, put on your feet or you'll be looking at a phone, it'll say, put on the table. This is where it's gonna go. So this sort of potential of building stuff and using the model view element um, within like Google Web Designer or within just doing some standard HTML uh, banners for whatever platform you're using. It's the, it's the next step, it's the next logical step for where it will go. Thanks for watching. I have some other five minute guides if you're interested. Also, please like, share and subscribe this video.